Hey gang, Timothy Canadian Comic Hunter is having a contest. He wants to know a few things. He wants to know our five favorite artists and show books by them. Well, that's easy enough. It's not going to be their best covers, but it's my favorite artists. So first up, I've got Jack Kirby. This guy is the king. And he's not the king because he did a bunch of pages a day. He's not the king because he's an old guy. He's not the king because he created all these great characters. He's the king because of his shapes, his rhythms, his forms, the individualistic nature of his art. He's the king. Next, I have Jack Davis. Again, it's not because he's fast. It's not because he's an old guy. It's because he's a master. He's a master of blacks. He's a master of forms. And another thing that these guys have, all the people I've chosen, they have a vast range. But again, it's not the range that's great, because whether they're doing funny animal, or romance, or action, or horror, they're always great. And here's Gil Kane. Again, a master. Just a master of composition. Just so amazing at anatomy. Just a natural artist. An artist's artist, if you will. And here's Jack Cole. Again, he's a, he's a master. He, you should see some of the horror stuff, some of the crime stuff. And then he does Plastic Man, and then he did the Playboy stuff. He, he just, he's so versatile and so perfect at all of these genres. And finally, I have Frank Frazetta. Do I even need to explain the greatness of Frazetta? How about stylized drawings that feel absolutely real? How about them apples? You will believe a horse can fly. Another thing Timothy Canadian Comic Hunter wanted to know is what's our holy grail, which he defines as what's our most valuable book. Well, I don't know the current values of any of my books, because they, you know, they fluctuate. These Neo keys, they fluctuate. But, like, I've got this. I don't... I think that this is worth, in this condition, probably no more than 30. But... It, probably even less, but it's a rarity, and I got it for 25 cents. My dealer went out of comics in, like, 2011, but he kept the graphic novels. Well, at a certain point, he went out of graphic novels, and then he needed an excuse for me to keep coming into the store. So he brought in some uh, boxes of quarter books that he had got. He gave me a list of comics he had and asked me to check the books in these boxes against that list, if he already had it, I could have it for a quarter. And he already had this. I only found out recently from Kyle Rowe that it's worth anything. I just got it because it's Grendel. Because I don't really collect keys. I don't collect high dollar books. Unless I fall ass backwards into them. He also wanted us to draw something comic book related. He said that we could just trace something if we wanted. But I sat down. I googled Jose Luis Garcia Lopez Joker. I got the cover to Batman 321. And I tried to do the Joker on that cover. I panicked. I got the nose wrong, and I was like, eh, I'll just do half the face. I did it with this Inkjoy ballpoint pen. It's basically like any other pen, but it's a little slicker. So thank you to Timothy Canadian Comic Hunter. Thank you for this contest. Uh, happy Halloween to y'all. Um, if I win, I don't have to feel the guilt of the insane shipping to Canada, because he's in Canada. 